to my channel my name is Sophie Schlepper um, I would like to welcome you back and welcome to my kitchen we are doing another episode in my kitchen again if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and for my old followers thank you so much for tuning in again and give me the thumbs up for this video if you if you like it anyway so today we are making avocado um, kind of a creamish bacon pasta so I'm gonna show you the ingredients that we are using today in today's um, um, meal so the main ingredient is avocados so we have a couple of avocados here um, we have the pasta here is the nest pastas um, I pre-cooked the pasta I'll be showing you in a minute now it takes about um, almost 8 to 10 minutes to cook the pasta um, next thing is bacon i pre-cooked my bacon i cut it into small pieces and i pre-cooked it and i i like it crispy so you can see it's nice and brown i like crispy bacon and we'll be using two eggs and we'll be using parmesan cheese so and then here's the pasta i already pre-cooked pre it oh i already pre-cooked it and it's just ready it's set so it will be ready to go once we get set so first of all what we are going to be doing is we'll be cutting our avocados into a blender we'll be using a blender to be cutting this avocados today um, because you have to blend everything together so we're gonna be cutting our avocados and here we go so it's very easy cutting avocados you just cut it in the middle twist it take the seed out and we'll put that aside so I'll be using a spoon to scoop that out So I'll be, I'll be, I don't know how much avocados I'll be using. So um, some people have a measurement, like it depends on how, how obsessed are you with avocados. I love avocados. So I'll be using um, a little bit more, maybe four or five avocados. Um, take the seed out. Taking out the seed is the nicest part of avocados. Like I like using ripe avocados. It's very good to use ripe avocados because they are more softer, um, very, very soft, and it's easier for the blender to right? And it has a better taste. It has a way, way better taste, especially when you, when you have to mix it. Why I pre-cooked uh, um, the pasta is because um, I wanted to, the video to be very, um, sweet and short so that's why i pre-cooked the bacon and pre-cooked the pasta and the the pasta you just boil it and it takes about 10 minutes 10 minutes is the highest that you will be boiling the pasta and then that's it so i think this is uh this should be good enough avocados in here this should be good enough avocados to make the paste so let's get rid of that oops so next step what we um, will be doing is the egg so you just crack the egg put it in there so I just used two eggs into this and I'll be using full cream I use full cream for for the mixture so I'm gonna open the cream and dump it in there so it it requires a little bit more cream because it's a creamy uh pasta the another thing that we'll be using that we'll be adding is salt so i'll be adding some pink salt and i'm just gonna crush that a little bit in there you can use uh regular salt but um i tried this pink salt and it's just Tastes, tastes so good and it's it's amazing so the next thing that we'll be doing I'm gonna get remove that move that move the cream so we're gonna be blending the egg avocado and everything so there we go so that's still thick so we'll be adding a little bit more cream into that 
because it's the avocados is more thicker so more cream the more creamer the more smoother it goes so you see it's very very smooth now so that's mixing very well It just takes a couple of minutes to do that so the next thing that we'll be doing we're gonna be putting the pasta into um, a pot so I'm gonna set my pot onto uh, seven there and then I'll be I, I, sp I sprayed my pot with uh, some uh, olive spray so I'll be putting my pasta in there I'll be putting my cheese. And then the next one will be my bacon. So you see how nice and crispy the bacon is. Um, so that goes in there. The next step will be the, the, uh, the mixture that you prepared. So you can hear the jizzling down there. So is the pasta getting jizzly and everything. So once all of this is ready, like once you put everything in there, it takes about um, takes about five minutes just to um, heat up the the cream and the avocado you know and just to warm up the the food so basically because the paste is already ready so you, what you're doing is just mixing it up and just preheating it because you already cooked the pasta is already warm so this is basically how it looks like in there so i'll show you let me just get that cream nice and off there you see how nice it looks in there so this is really, really one of the good pastas that you can prepare. If you like uh, Parmesan cheese, like I, I'm obsessed with it. I like it cheesy, so I will, I'm going to be adding more of the cheese in there. Sometimes I always use the whole thing, but yeah. So look at all that. The bacon gives it like that spark, that, you know, that flavor um, that you want, that you'll be expecting. You know, if you're a bacon lover, you would understand what I'm talking about. Because bacon goes well with almost with everything. Um, let's um, do that. So, it's almost ready. So, it takes about just five minutes. Just to preheat it because I already cooked the bacon and everything so it's just preheating almost just everything as I said before so we're gonna close that just for a minute and put that on high while it's preheating and I'm be getting um, the plate to be preparing the food on so um, but now it's it's all it's already ready I'll be turning off my oven um, so I'll show you how it looks like when you serve it. So that's how it looks like. And um, this is one of the most delicious meal. Like it really, really goes well for a dinner night that you don't really don't know what to cook and everything. This is really one of the good ones. So anyway, so prepare this and let me know how it turned out thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe give me your thoughts on what you think about it after you prepare it yourself and how it tastes like and i will see you guys in my next video have a wonderful day bye